Let me introduce to you the talented young tuba player, Jarrett McCourt, who will be performing as a soloist with your Windsor Symphony Orchestra. This concerto is interesting because the, uh, the only man who has basically carved out a solo career uniquely as a tuba soloist, uh, his name is Oystein Batsvik, he's a Norwegian tuba soloist, he knew Arlid Plough personally. Arlid Plough died in 2005 um, and after he died, uh, Oystein for some reason was going through his effects and then found this concerto that had never been played, was completed, um, and he was like, wow, I'm, I wonder what this sounds like. So he gave the first couple of premieres, and since then it's kind of become one of the cornerstones of our repertoire. Got to ask. Sure. So for a lot of people, um, they think of the tuba. Sometimes the tuba is used in a comical way. So you've got maybe a, you know, a, a medley of songs, and then the tuba does a little tune, and it's, it's like this funny thing. Yeah. Is it, what, what do you think about that? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's like kind of the role that the tuba's taken on, you know. Most of the time, the person who plays the tuba is, you know, maybe a little heavier, uh, kind of a little, <laughs> kind of a little <laughs> awkward. Um, and uh, like I said, that's kind of the role that the tuba has taken on in uh, classical music. But you're, you're here to debunk all those uh, preconceptions. Of course, of course. That's yeah. not, you know, the, yeah. the umba is not the only thing the tuba can do.